hey my lovely people i trust you all are doing well have you subscribed to my channel if not why like why why haven't you subscribed share with your friends subscribe to my channel then you know what take a cheap feel and relax also the trash guys on the previous video i talked about croatia being part of the schengen right i discussed it but I didn't really go in depth. I only talked about Croatia being part of the Schengen and also I talked about universities in Croatia. You can be able to apply to. I don't know if you guys have already checked the universities or you haven't checked the universities yet. But today I am coming your way with study in Croatia, permanent residence, and also their high success visa rates. Croatia issues visa they have like a very i would say 98 to 96 let's just say 90 95 96 to 97 high rate of visa acceptance they are issuing visa and guys there are a lot of jobs in croatia because it is a state known for its tourism a lot of monuments, a lot of museums, international people are tripping there for tourist purposes, for businesses, for uh, name it. Okay, you can be able to even get a permanent uh, residence for your family when they are there, if you stay like for the duration of three years or four years thereabout. So those are the things we are going to look into in this video. So guys, I'm not going to waste anybody's time because there are a lot of things to talk about. No time to waste. First and foremost, do they speak English in Croatia? The answer is yes, because it's a tourist country. But of course, the percentage of people speaking the language is usually more. For the English, they still speak because of the international people that are coming in. Okay, I've already talked about where Croatia is look, situated in the previous video that I posted already. The capital of Croatia is uh, Zagreb which is spelled as Z-A-G-R-E-B. You're going to see that on the screen, so that shouldn't be a problem. You all know that in the European country, uh, European states, they have like different ways, different system of permanent residence. For example, in Lithuania, when you graduate, they give you like post one year studies for you to be able to find a job. After you find a job, you remain in the territory of Lithuania and you start working. If you're able to get, like they keep giving you resident permit because from being a student, you've already started getting the resident permit. It is advised for you not to breach this resident permit, which is to say that in the period they start issuing you with a resident permit, you are not going to be getting, let's say, visa. If you do get a visa in between, it's a breach. So all the two years or three years you've already st stayed is like, Do you understand what that means? It means... <laughs> Lisa, let's laugh. Laugh and be happy. Let's continue. It means all the ones you were wasting. Ah, it are it, it waste. It wasted. Guys, it's okay. Different countries have that. Why some countries in the European um, continent, they can't your student permit as part of your... Of, part of you towards you achieving your PR which is the permanent resident the student permit is part of it for example now if you're doing a course for four years and they give you like maybe you need to stay like five years in that country to get your resident permit and they give you like four years resident permit for student permits when you finish you just need a one year more for you to get your five years then you can be able to get the PR why some is not that I have to finish the study? Why some you just need to say like countries like Portugal, Croatia, they are like very flexible in giving you those things. But for countries like Estonia, Estonia changed as well, guys. Before, when you finish from Estonia, they usually give you like five years, but now it's no longer like that. Now they give the resident based on what you're doing. So the contract you have with your company, that is the determinant of how many years resident that you get for example if you have like one year contract with the company after studies you get like one year resident if you have like two years or like before that once you finish they just give you like that five years that is to say that guys rules policies are changing on daily basis so you have to also be active and bring it 
did I say did you subscribe subscribe or you subscribe to my channel hit education button hey isn't this fine again <laughs> let's go ahead so guys what ways can you relocate to Croatia? Croatia is not a hot cake. Let's start talking about it. There are ways you can relocate to Croatia. One of them that you can use study. Hey school. I do like school, Sha, but what to do? I just feel like education is illumination. Education helps you to be exposed. Education helps you to develop yourself. Education impacts knowledge to you. Education helps you to be aware of what is happening in your surroundings sometimes. Education places you somewhere that sometimes money cannot even take you there. You just education because when you're going through the school and the school goes through you, it's a lot of things. There is this illumination inside of you as a person. Let's not start preaching, I beg. Study rat is one of them. Eh? The second one that you can use, you can go through skilled uh, or unskilled jobs. There are a lot of skilled unskilled jobs, like we call them blue collar jobs in that Croatia. Like waiter, waitress, butcher, name it, fruit pickings and all that. They have all those things. So you can use that unskilled route as well. You can also use like seasonal jobs. I've already talked about seasonal job in my previous video. You can check that. I'm going to put it on the description box. But you don't know what seasonal job means. I explained it in details. You can use like internship and Erasmus. Now that they are part of the Schengen, guys, they've been approved to join the Schengen. If you are doing a study in Estonia or Lithuania, you can decide to go for like six months or five months semester course in Croatia. So, which is to say, you are there for your internship or you're there for your Erasmus. Woohoo! So now let's dive in. I've already talked about the relocation process, process ways in which you can be able to go through unskilled jobs, skilled jobs, internship Erasmus, or true studies. I've already talked about the kind of PRO, how many years you need to stay and all that. And also I talked about if they speak English. So guys, first and foremost, let's go through their study route. Okay. Are there scholarships in Croatia? Croatia have scholarships. In fact, guys, you are going to be seeing that what reason why I usually make the notes so that you don't get to forget. There are a lot of scholarships right now, like the scholarship in Croatia. They have the bilateral mobility scholarship. They have the Discipo the scholarship. They have the Havaska scholarship. These are the scholarships that are available. So the answer is 100% yes. Croatia have scholarship route. So you can also use the scholarship route to go into Croatia. Okay, so what are the intakes? Most international students offer um, institutions offer like two intakes around the month of September and January. Okay, so let's say from January being like next month, which is next year by God's grace. And why some may also accept third intake around April, May, July. This period is like for third intake. So you need to be fast. Okay. And also, I've already talked about those schools, but you can look into other schools like University of Split. I've talked about it. Aspira University of College. You can check that university as well. These are the ones that I can recommend. And also, University of um, Zagreb. You can check that as well. I talked about it in my previous video. And University of uh, Regica. I talked about it. You can check that as well. Now, guys, how do you work in Croatia? You know, we just look at it and sometimes we get confused. No need to be confused, no need to stress. Temporary residence is required before you can work in Croatia. So guys, these are like the same system in the European system. Despite that, their laws, their policy, their regulations are a bit different. But if you look at it, you find out that they have like similarities in the things they do. Even in Lithuania, you cannot be able to work without working permit. In Estonia, I'm not even sure you can be able to work without working permit. So this is like in the Europeans, so you need temporary resident to be able to work. Mm -hmm. I've already talked into the video YouTube. I'm going to be talking and talking and talking. So, why would you subscribe? You won't go off to finish me up. Subscribe, or hit the notification button. As I was saying, now, now, how do the application in Croatia they have like application portal in the Schengen zone? They have like Dream Apply where you can apply and see all the universities in croatia they have application portal okay there is a general portal for all the international students it allows you to pick up to seven eight nine programs so after you do this 
then there are documents you need to upload on that portal so which documents do i need you need your international passport you need your wire or your neko you need your photo uh photo size you need your curriculum vitae which is cv you need your transcript the transcript is applicable to both bachelors and master students guys those of you have said it countless and countless like tons of times if you've been following me for a long time now you know i always stress on transcript transcript makes your application to be outstanding nobody should deceive you schools tends to focus more on students that have transcript because that is like a more authentic document especially when it's issued by your university so both bachelors and master students you need your transcript you need your cv you need your international passport your photo passport birth certificate motivational letter admission motivational letter we do have a writer that that will help you to draft an excellent letter that will make you a standing letter of recommendation you can add that if you can get that your bachelor certificate for those of you that are coming for masters okay when you do and you upload all these documents there there are some documents you need to send for recognition for example if you're coming to Lithuania SKBC need to check to be sure that your certificate wasn't forged. The sentence is applicable to Estonia. They have to check in the NARIC center to be sure that it was not forged. In Croatia, they are doing the same thing. You are going to see the link on the description box. You have to send those documents to the recognition board, educational system that is responsible for checking if your certificate wasn't forged they are going to check it but make sure you download the one in pdf because it's in english version you are going to be able to read through to see the kind of document that is required for you to upload on your system now when you do you have to send a send the request for evaluation for the foreign education document to them by dhl this statement is going to be on the screen on this video so you get to see it okay then when they recognize it and they find out that okay this document is authentic this document is okay it doesn't forge they distribute it among the universities that you have chosen the program to and these universities have to check it to see if you meet the requirement that they are looking for then they get to pick you most of the university might ask you for entrance tests just to check for that to be sure if you're really qualified okay I didn't see where they stated. I've not really checked to know if they require an English proficiency test or not. I haven't really checked that. So, guys, going further, there are some good things about Croatia. Croatia, the student, international students in Croatia benefit a lot, guys. They have what they call the student center. Each of these student center assists you with accommodation. They assist you with job, they assist you with Erasmus opportunities, and they assist you with any kind of information that is going to be useful to you. So the student center helps you as well with accommodation, where you're going to live, the kind of job that's available. If you're having any kind of difficulties or things you need to register, the student center is there to assist you. Woo hoo 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 hoo. It's going to be on the description box, guys. Like a lot of good things about this country. How cool, huh? Oh, how come we didn't even ah, we cannot even pay attention in Croatia till now like 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 you know guys and apart from that this student center I'm super excited I don't know why I'm hyper with this Croatia <laughs> oh my guys this student center as well assist you with your visa and resident permit issues it's so good. So once you get admission or you're admitted into a new university and you're having any kind of difficulties, you can always reach out to the student center. Okay. And also I'm going to be dropping the recognition, the recognition of foreign education qualification, their links. So guys, now I'm going to be dropping the link for when Croatia is going to be joining the Schengen properly. I'm going to be dropping the link for student centers that help with accommodation and for jobs and for living and for visa and for resident issue that is like a lot of links so you can check on your own to know what is happening okay now 
Fair travels, you've already said a lot. How do I apply for visa? What do I need? Now, step by step on how to apply for this visa. Come with me. Stay, 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 guys. Stay, guys. Let's do it. Now, you will need to present some document at the embassy to be able to apply for visa. Okay, guys. So, I have like the information and the documentation. The documentations you need, first and foremost, you need the visa application form. You guys know this is like mandatory. Any country you're applying to, visa application form is like mandatory. One of the things you need. You need a valid passport. You're from Nigeria, you're from Kenya, you're from Malawi, you're from Zimbabwe, you're from any part of the world. It doesn't matter. Nepal, Pakistan, talk about it. We need a valid international passport. Of course, that hasn't expired. They have like a lot of blank pages so they can be able to know that okay if your passport have like three or five or four months to expire you cannot apply without baby you just have to go get yourself in the passport because you need blank pages and password that is valid for more than six months for you to be able to apply you need the copies of your previous visas if you have before it's not a problem you can it's already in your passport so they get to see it an official admission letter from any crucial institution that have offered you admission okay and a cover letter stating the purpose of your visit which is like very very important cover letter in other words is a visa motivational letter we you can use that you need a flight itinerary people you also need health insurance because you need an international health insurance we can assist with that we have an insurance company that we are working with so when you get to the stage reach out to face travel we are here boom 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 a dma way to assist you with that you need a passport photo size other than your international passport it should be clear and recent. Just reach out to anyone snapping your title. You need a Schengen photo passport side. They know how it looks like. They know how to assist you with that. You need a proof of accommodation, which can be provided for you by your university. Or oh, this is where the role of the student center plays comes in because they assist you with accommodation. They assist you with visa and residence. So it is now time for you to reach out to them for help. So you need an accommodation. You need a visa fee. And the people, my people, you need a proof of fund. P-O-F, which is a proof of fund. For those of you coming to from anywhere the third world country or apart from the third world country that we see in this video, for those of you that are not within the Schengen areas, of course, you need 5,000 to 7,000 euros for now in your proof of fund. Guys, 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 this proof of fund needs six months active bank statements. Sponsorship are allowed as well to have the same amount and a letter of sponsorship should be legalized. So it's going to make it to be authentic, 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 authentic. Hope I'm making sense. I'm playing a lot today. Right now I'm releasing a lot of things. Okay, so guys, according to each individual case, the competent embassy may request for additional documentations from the Croatia embassy. It depends. Sometimes they send you back if they're not okay with whatever you've provided. Oh, my people of Nigeria, my good and sweet people of Nigeria. Guys, we don't have Croatia embassy. So sorry. So sorry. There is no Croatia embassy in Nigeria. Oh, it breaks my heart. But what to do? guys which is excuse me excuse excuse me more which is to say that we are going to be using vfs <laughs> when i say vfs this is what i like oh my god she doesn't turn to between a vfs we are going to be using vfs i'm going to be providing the direction or the address of the vfs on the description box okay guys vfs here in nigeria offer assistance to those who want to get their visa to croatia and they assist you is located in Wuse 2. You're going to be seeing it there. Their email is going to be there. How to reach out to them. The phone number is going to be there. So now, ta -da -da, where are Croatia embassies in Africa? We have it on we have it in Algeria. They have it in Algeria, rather. They have it in Egypt, Cairo. They have it in Libya. Um Tripoli, that is where it is. They have it in Morocco, Rabat. They have it in South Africa, Pretoria. So, guys, it's going to be on the description box. Okay. For the general application portal, I'm going to be providing the link as well. For the courses, we have to find the courses, the program that you need. I'm going to be providing the link. For the academic recognition, the link is going to be there. The student center, the link is going to be there. For the universities, I talked about, I recommend that the link is going to be there. 
okay for resident permits for people from third world countries like people from nigeria these people that is considered a third world country how you get your resident permits uh is going to be on the description box as well the tuition fee what it looks like the tuition fee is like from 800 to 1000 euros within that range there about in their currency but if converted that's where it should be so it's like within that range slightly not too expensive but we don't know what is going to happen coming from next year and guys the tuition fee is going to be the tuition fee link is going to be on the description box and also the scholarships in Croatia at this moment the link is also going to be at the description box at this time i want to say a huge thank you for each a huge thank you for each and every one of you for sticking with me for watching my video for staying with me to this time i love you or but god love you the most it's your girl Griffin. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, click on the notification bell, share with your friends, check out this university, peace out.